All right, welcome back to Getting Started with Timber. Um, so in this video, we are going to actually work on taking our beautiful homepage here and making it into something a little more useful. So in another tab here, I have a prototype that I've been working on with a designer, and it is for um, the site Boston Built, which you can hear about in the intro video. So what I want to do is you can see right now, this is just running locally and like an prototype environment, I want to actually bring this over into my WordPress install and into Timber. So the process I like to go through is um, ridiculously simple. So let's start here. I'm just going to go into the page here and do a view source and copy all of this and go back into Sublime and then this beautiful index.twig file. Let's overwrite the stuff um, that we had put in there earlier. Save, and if we refresh our WordPress environment. Okay, so um, not getting much in way of style, but we can see that all the content we were looking for is indeed coming over. So let's actually bring over now the style sheets and everything. So over here, um, left window is the WordPress theme. The right window is that prototype. Um, so you can download this prototype in the links. I'm gonna go into the dist folder and grab the static directory and just copy that over into my WordPress theme. Now, if I were to refresh, um, nothing has changed. And that's because all of the links to the style sheets and all that are need to be updated. So let's go back into the HTML. And you can see right now for um, the main style sheet here, it is linking to um, just the domain root and then into the static directory. I wanna actually make that WP content themes Boston built um, so that we actually load the styles. So now if we come back over here and refresh, you will see that um, we get the styles we were looking for. Um, so right now, the only problem is, or there are many problems, but let's start at one. And that is, it is just loading um, the dummy content that she had placed into the actual HTML. We want to populate this with real WordPress stuff. So to do that, um, I've, I've taken the liberty of going ahead and putting in some fake WordPress posts um, into the WordPress install. So let's actually fetch those and populate this. So you can see what the designer did is uh, just took the same block of content here with upstatement and repeated it three times through copy and pasting. I want to set this up a little bit better um, so it'll be easier to actually make templates with. So I'm going to go back into this index.twig file and you can see we have this these three, three duplicate divs. Um, I'm going to get rid of the second and third ones of these so that I'm just dealing with a single instance of it. And I think that should work. So our div starts with archive company here and there. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the next thing I'm going to introduce. So earlier we had shown how with brace brace you can output any variable. Uh, there's another um, template device in Twig that you can use um, for control structures. That is like loops and other devices that don't make output. And that is brace percent sign. So I'm going to do a loop here and say brace percent for post in and because I don't have any data to work with yet, I'm just going to say for post in zero dot dot 10. So that will just give me um, 10 iterations of this loop to run through. Go back down here to the closing div tag and do uh, brace percent end for one word and another brace percent, or sorry, percent brace to close that loop. So now when I go back to Chrome and refresh, we should see 10 instances of that repeating. Awesome. So we've got 10 instances, but of course they are all identical. So let's go back into Sublime and now I'm going to hop over into my index.php file and actually send it some content um, from WordPress. So let's get rid of this stuff um, from before. And I'm going to add a attribute here to the, to the array or property here to the array called posts. And set that equal to timber get posts. Now, inside of these parentheses, you can use um, the standard kind of query you would send to WP Query or WordPress's own get post function. 
In this case, what I care about is I want things from post type post. And I'm just going to leave it at that for now, just to, to demonstrate this. So I've put in a few sample posts inside of WordPress to actually work with. Now, at this point, um, we still need to go back into the twig file and actually get this into there. So instead of 0 through 10, I'm going to say for post in posts. So it's going to take the posts uh, property that I've sent and iterate through each. Let's refresh. Awesome. So it doesn't look like much has changed, but instead of having 10 things, we have four, which is the number of sample content pieces I have. So to actually see this take flight, um, instead of doing upstatement, let's fetch the title of those posts. So I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to do brace brace, and then post dot title. So the reason that is post dot title is just because um, I've used post here. There's nothing magical about the word post. It doesn't know that you know it's the singular version of this plural. Um, if I wanted to say for zebra in posts and then zebra.title, it would still work. So let's see that in action. Hey, and now we get the actual content of those posts.